SpaceX has conducted yet another static fire test on a new prototype of the Starship. The company wants to make sure the craft is prepared to take on its first ever orbital test flight in the coming months. Let's take a closer look at this new test and how the new prototype performed. The future of space travel has arrived, and it's called SpaceX Starship. This incredible machine is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk in 2002 with the goal of reducing the cost of space transportation and making space accessible to everyone. Over the years, SpaceX has achieved many milestones, including becoming the first privately funded company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station and the first company to reuse a rocket. With a Starship program, SpaceX is taking its vision one step further. The Starship is the next step in SpaceX's journey to make space travel a reality for everyone. The spacecraft has been designed from the ground up with the goal of making space travel affordable and accessible to all. The Starship is the key to unlocking the final frontier and making space travel a common occurrence. The Starship is a reusable spacecraft that has been designed to carry both cargo and people to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The spacecraft is made up of two main components, the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Rocket Booster is responsible for providing the initial thrust to escape Earth's gravity, and then the Starship takes over to carry out the rest of the mission. The ship is designed to be fully reusable, which means that it can be used multiple times, reducing the cost of space travel significantly. This makes it possible for us to explore the final frontier like never before. SpaceX is gearing up for the first ever orbital flight test of a Starship vehicle, one that will involve the Booster 7 Super Heavy prototype and an upper stage variant called Ship 24. SpaceX has put both of the vehicles through multiple static fire tests at its Starbase facility in South Texas, briefly lighting up their engines while they remained anchored to the ground. All six of Ship 24's Raptors blazed up on September 8, 2022, for example, and Booster 7 ignited 14 of its 33 engines two months later. That remained the static fire high for Booster 7 until Thursday. On that day, SpaceX aimed to engage all 33 engines and fell just short. The team switched one Raptor off just before ignition and another turned itself off. Those 31 Raptors put on quite a show during their roughly 7-second burn, but the engines are capable of even greater things. Super Heavy Booster 7 completed a full-duration static fire test of 31 Raptor engines, producing 7.9 million pounds of thrust, less than half of the booster's capability. For perspective, NASA's Space Launch System became the most powerful rocket ever to fly successfully on November 16, 2022, when it sent the agency's uncrewed Orion capsule skyward on the Artemis 1 moon mission. During that liftoff, the SLS generated 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Over the last few months, SpaceX has made several incredible upgrades to the Starship as it inches closer to an orbital test flight. Perhaps the most important update was to the Raptor engines. The company makes regular upgrades to the engine to improve its efficiency and reusability. In recent months, SpaceX has used two variants of the engine, with the newer one dubbed Raptor 2. The company states Raptor 2 includes a large number of performance and reliability improvements over the previous iteration. The Raptor engine is a full-flow staged combustion cycle engine that runs on super-chilled liquid oxygen and super-chilled liquid methane, both of which will power SpaceX's next-generation vehicle, Starship. The Raptor engine benefits from the highly advantageous FFSCC cycle, maximizing the impulse generated by a given amount of propellant. It is the third FFSCC engine to ever be developed and the first to leave the test stand. The first stage of Starship, called Super Heavy, will be jam-packed with 33 Raptor engines, 20 non-gimbling Raptor engines in the outermost ring, 10 gimbling engines in the middle ring, and 3 gimbling central engines in the innermost ring. This number is expected to decrease in the future as SpaceX further upgrades Raptor. The Starship currently hosts six total engines, three vacuum-optimized non-gimbling engines, and three sea-level gimbling engines. As research and development continue on the Starship, the latest news from SpaceX is that a new prototype for the vehicle has successfully undergone a static fire test of its engines ahead of its first planned orbital test flight. SpaceX fired seven engines on its Starship Super Heavy prototype Booster 7 on September 19th 
marking the highest number of the company's new Raptor engines ever tested at the same time. To prepare for Starship's maiden orbital flight, SpaceX has been conducting static fire tests with increasing intensity, in which one or more engines are ignited while the vehicle remains stationary on the ground. A static fire test is a rough equivalent of revving a car engine in neutral, with this particular one lasting around 10 seconds. Reports from NASA suggest that the massive Starship vehicle could launch on its first-ever orbital test flight any day now. The agency has a stake in Starship's progress. NASA picked the giant rocket as the first crewed lunar lander for its Artemis program of moon exploration. If all goes according to the current plan, the Starship will put boots down near the moon's south pole in 2025 or 2026 on the Artemis 3 mission. No Starship prototype has taken flight since May 2021, and all of its Jumps so far have reached a maximum altitude of just six miles or so. However, observers have now noted that SpaceX has begun pre-launch testing of the craft by simulating its engines for an upcoming flight. SpaceX's desire to fly an orbital mission with Starship prompted a lengthy environmental review by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and there are still several things to finish up. That FAA review, called a Programmatic Environmental Assessment, examined Starship activities at Starbase, SpaceX's facility near the city of Brownsville in South Texas. The FAA concluded the assessment in June, following numerous delays from late 2021 due to the need to consult with other agencies and deal with public comments. The FAA said this summer that SpaceX needs to take 75 actions to reduce its environmental impact on the area. Despite SpaceX founder Elon Musk saying several times that Starship would be ready to go orbital soon, Musk recently said the target was November. It seems that SpaceX hasn't quite finished with those FAA action items. The coming mission aims to have to prototype 165-foot-tall Starship vehicle into orbit atop a super-heavy booster that has a height of 230 feet. The stacked hardware is the tallest rocket system ever. SpaceX has already conducted several static fire tests in 2022 to get Starship ready for the approximately 90-minute mission that, if successful, would see the spacecraft splash down off the coast of Hawaii. It's unclear how much prep work remains before SpaceX is ready to launch the mission, however. SpaceX's human landing system contract with NASA requires several successful spaceflight tests before Starship will be authorized to put astronauts on the moon. NASA is also seeking a second vendor for crewed Artemis landing missions, but more options won't be ready until Artemis 5 at the earliest, putting SpaceX in line for landings on Artemis 3 and Artemis 4 at about 2025 and 2027, depending on how earlier missions go. SpaceX still needs to perform some checkouts with Booster 7 and Ship 24. If everything goes well with those remaining tests, the duo could launch on the orbital flight test as early as next month. However, the company has to seek clearance from the FAA before the Starship can be tested again. The Starship has the ability to carry up to 100 passengers to the moon, Mars, and beyond, giving people the opportunity to experience space travel in a whole new way. With its comfortable cabin and advanced life support systems, the Starship is the perfect vehicle for space tourism. And with its powerful engines and efficient fuel system, it can carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. Space tourism is a relatively new concept and has only become possible in recent years due to advancements in technology. In the past, only astronauts and professional space travelers had the opportunity to experience the thrill of space travel. But now, with companies like SpaceX offering private missions to space, the dream of space travel is becoming a reality for more and more people. Space tourism offers many benefits both for the individual traveler and for society as a whole. For the individual, it offers the chance to experience a once-in-a-lifetime adventure and the opportunity to see our planet from a completely new perspective. For society, it provides a new source of revenue and jobs and helps to advance the field of space exploration. While space tourism is expected to be a big part of the Starship's future, the craft is needed for several groundbreaking scientific missions. After a successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean, NASA Administrator and former Senator Bill Nelson shared that his agency plans to go to Mars by the end of 2030. Senator Nelson struck an upbeat tone after NASA had a great Artemis One mission and the remarks were made during a post-splashdown press conference, in which he also shared details for SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. 
The event was attended by several agency officials, including Michael Serafin, NASA's Artemis One mission manager, who shared his final thoughts on Orion's performance as it entered the Earth at breakneck speeds for a successful landing. Throughout its journey to the moon and back, Orion performed better than NASA engineers had initially expected. The spacecraft's power generation, done through solar panels, generated more power than expected. As part of the mission, NASA added additional test objectives to stress the vehicle and learn more about its performance for future missions. The next Artemis mission will involve a crew, and not only will NASA use the data for the next mission, but it will also make changes to the ship. Administrator Nelson also shared crucial details about SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. This is currently the only vehicle that has been chosen by NASA to land humans on the moon as part of the Artemis program. He announced that SpaceX plans to do an uncrewed landing in 2023 and then do the crewed landing in late 2024. While delays are possible due to the Starship being a brand new concept, all signs point towards the craft being ready in time. Starship is the centerpiece of Musk's eventual plans to head to Mars. Although SpaceX makes its money from launch services, the company is also focused on developing technology for future space exploration. In 2011, Elon Musk told delegates at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics in San Diego that he planned to take people to Mars in 10 to 15 years. Three years later, at the International Space Development Conference, he said the reusable rocket stage would be a step in getting to the Red Planet. In 2016, Musk unveiled his technological plan for Martian transport, which is a part of his plan to create a self-sustaining red planet colony in the next 50 to 100 years. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about SpaceX's 33-inch static fire test on the Starship. Do you think SpaceX will deliver on its promise of taking humans to Mars? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.